big parts that gives a unique risk. It's not exactly um, on here. And this is what we talked about at the beginning. Usually in factoring, you're generally concerned about, you know, is your client a good person? We talked about honesty and integrity. Here, not in addition to that, we're really worried about competence. And when we talk about the free due diligence to find out who is this client, that's something that you really have to worry about. They're all excited that they just got a million dollar job for plumbing. Are they even close to being able to handle that? Have they ever handled a job like that before? Or are they going to get it handed to them? Right? I mean, it all sounds all exciting, and they need the factor because they don't have the, the assets to fund the project as it's going along. But if they are incapable of doing this, something's going to happen, and you're going to, you're going to be the one to get screwed. So all of a sudden you're worried about the competence of your client, and last, you are worried that your clients, sub subcontractors and suppliers get paid. And let me explain why. If your subcontractor suppliers, let's just use the uh, plumbing as an example, they bought you know hundred thousand dollars worth of fixtures, and then they went and installed it in the project. In the project, they didn't. They didn't pay their supplier. You, you funded that invoice, you thought it was all good. All of a sudden, the supplier also has a right to record a lien on the property. They're behind, you don't even, you may not even know about it. All of a sudden, they record a lien on the property, the owner goes ballistic, the GC goes ballistic. Who are they going to look to? They're going to look to your client and say, you know, we owed you $150,000 this month. We're taking a hundred of it. You financed it already. Good for you. Um, and we're going to take a hundred out of that 150. You're only getting 50 out of it. We're going to pay the other hundred directly to them. And because you're subject to this contract that you that you walked into, they're right. So one of the things that we're going to talk about, certainly before the end, is how to make sure that your clients' subs and suppliers are also paid so they don't come out of the woodwork and come and fight you. Now, the people that really do construction factoring, they do it in a good, sophisticated way, and I know you guys do too, they basically, and good uh, people do this, if they know what they're doing, they take over the financial responsibility of their clients they get a list of all the subs and suppliers that are going to be working for your client. And before you fund that invoice, that 80% of that invoice, you go to the subs and suppliers and say, I'm going to pay you directly. And you get the release from them. So all of a sudden, you know, think about the level of detail that you're getting involved in. As a regular factor, you don't touch this. All of a sudden, you're going to their suppliers, subs, how much are you paid? I want to pay you, and I need to get a release from you. You're, like, you're their accounting department now. You're your client's accounting department. 